me finish this thought. Hmm, what's this word? Oh, I wish my dear Narcissus would return so I could ask. His handwriting is atrocious. Oh, well, I'll just write inky black darkness. That sounds like the tomb he described to me. The nearby Dreloth tomb, of course. My employer, the famous adventurer Narcissus Dren, explores its depths, searching for hidden treasure even as we speak. I hope to get to investigate a tomb one day. For now, I'm content to be Narcissus' assistant. I am the personal assistant to Narcissus Dren, and I know a great deal about a good many things. I found the old scroll that mentioned the treasure, after all. Narcissus has been gone a long time, though. Even missed lunch today, and he never skips a meal. You'll check on Narcissus? How sweet! I will make certain you get a mention in his next book. I suppose he just lost track of time studying an intriguing relic or some such. But I'll feel so much better if you go into Dreloth and see if he's all right. Certainly. I'd be more than happy to tell you all about the great Narcissus Dren and his exciting adventures. What do you want to know? I suppose I can take credit for that. I found an old scroll in a Talvani bookshop and took it right to Narcissus for analysis. His translation indicated there were secret passages inside. He said secret passages mean hidden treasure, so here we are. You don't know the great Narcissus Dren? He explores the world's most dangerous locations and writes books so that his beloved admirers can experience his adventures vicariously. Oh, just reading his words will send little thrills up and down your spine. It is much more than mere admiration. Narcissus Dren fills my heart the way mead fills an earthen jar. Someday, we will undergo the ritual of Mara and live happily as husband and wife. Elfbeta Dren. It has a certain flair, don't you think? I wonder what other delicacies the Dark Elves make. You'd think that after all these years at the side of the great Narcissus Dren, I would know more about his culture. I suppose he's more interested in the ancient past than in talking about the present. Into the tomb? That tomb over there? Well, that didn't work out so well. You see, I have a powerful fear of ghosts. Ghosts, spirits, windows. Anything you can see through, really. No, I, I don't go anywhere near tombs. Too many ghosts for my taste. Not so loud. That creature in the next chamber is a tricky one. You must be my new apprentice. Well, let's start the lesson, shall we? Can you smell it? The dust of ancient elves permeates the very air of this old tomb. Ooh, that's a good phrase. I must remember it for my next book. But tell me, what brings you to this lonely place? Assistant? Oh, you mean that young Nord woman who's been hanging about? Very kind of her. But Narcissus Dren doesn't need to be coddled. I'm in the middle of a very important undertaking. There's more to this old tomb than meets the eye. According to an old scroll I discovered, this tomb was built atop two older structures. Imagine secret chambers that haven't been opened in centuries. And the family died out ages ago. No one to contest my findings. Except that creature over there. She did, did she? Probably told you she found it. Well, I had to translate it. And from the ancient elven, no less. Difficult, even for me. Before I could begin my investigation, however, that creature over there appeared to harass me. It's a sneaky one. Silent as a tomb and twice as deadly. Even its shadow is terrifying. But it won't get the jump on Narcissus Drin. Slip into the chamber and see what its intentions are. I'll wait here, poised to leap to your aid as necessary.
This isn't what I expected. It's rather small. Uh, this isn't right. Where's the treasure vault? The hidden chambers? This tomb deeply disappoints Narcissus Drin. Something more interesting than a boring burial chamber. This ancient scroll indicates that if you honor the ancestors, they reveal... Um, I can't quite make out this word. I'm having a hard time translating some of these old idioms. Are you questioning my expertise? Ancient Elven is like a second language to me, and scholars across Tamriel revere my ability to make sense of historic gibberish. Still, I could check my notes again, just to be sure. Hmm, let me see. Uh, this squiggle means tomb. Oh, wait! That's V, not D. Veloth tomb? Ooh, what's this button do? Deal with that, will you? Then talk to Elfbet outside! Narcissus shot out of that tomb so fast. Just like that time my sister laughed so hard and Mead spurted out her nose. Narcissus was so excited he went to find a mage to open a portal. Told us to meet him there. Porfrey, pack up. We need to move. He did, and he told me to tell you. But why he needs your help when he has me, well, that's just beyond my comprehension. Narcissus said that he found new information. He said that the scroll was not about Dreleth tomb. It pointed toward Veloth tomb. You better get moving if you're going to help my Narsus. Veloth tomb is on the west coast, just south of Nysus. Warfrey can make his own way, just like you. He's reliable like that. Me? I might hire a mage. Portals are so much nicer than walking. you found your way. It's nice that you want to help my Narcissus, but he doesn't really require another assistant. I'm quite capable of taking care of his many wants and desires. Oh yes, we had a lovely meal by candlelight. Talked about the new book he's working on. Drank some wine. Then off he went, like a flash into the tomb. Unfortunately, they have not heard so much as a peep out of him in a Guar's age. No, of course not. 
This is Narcissus Dren we're talking about, famed hero and adventurer. If you aren't too busy, though, I'd appreciate it if you could head inside and check on him, just in case. Sometimes Narcissus gets a little distracted, you know. Hello? Is someone out there? I seem to have locked myself in. <sighs> Who's out there? Oh, no, never mind. I don't care. I just want to get out of here. It's dark and it's cramped and it smells like an Argonian's armpit. Uh, I recognize that voice. I knew you'd come and find me. As for my current predicament, how was I supposed to know it was a trap? The door slammed shut and locked behind me. So, do a dark elf a favor and open the door like a good apprentice? Please? There's probably a button or something nearby. In my experience, there's always something pushable. I remember seeing Daedric symbols on plates along the wall. Try pushing a button that's divisible by three. Three has always been lucky for me. Now you're just trying to prolong my agony. Divisible by three. Try pushing the sixth panel from the left, or the third panel, or maybe the eighth panel. Any of the panels in a position that's divisible by three. <laughs> Another obstacle overcome by the great Narcissus Dren. I find that escaping from an ancient trap really gets the heart pumping. Provided it doesn't take too long, of course. I couldn't have done it without your relatively minor contribution. Thank you. Indeed, Veloth Tomb. Now we need to locate the hidden passages mentioned in the scroll, and the relics of St. Veloth will be mine! Um, to write about in my next book, of course. Stick close, apprentice. These tombs can be dangerous to the unwary. I could tell you, but I work on an instinctual level. I know relics of historic value when I see them. Apprentice, you lead the way. I expect that locked door was the worst this tomb has in store for us. It's smooth sailing from here, I'm certain. Ah, yes, the old scroll. It did mention hidden passages. That's what attracted me in the first place. So I'll look for relics and hidden passages, while you keep an eye out for any unexpected dangers. See? We make a great team, Apprentice. Saint Veloth? Perhaps. It's more likely he's buried in his shrine in Deshan. This is the family tomb. Ooh, did I tell you my mother traces her lineage to this noble line? Whatever we're going to find, it won't happen if we keep standing here. So? And I've chatted with the shade of my great aunt Ativinia. She was as unpleasant in death as she was in life. Is there a point to regaling me with the story of your minor exploits? Duh, of course it did. Probably had his preserved toe for good measure. I'm not interested in bones. I'm looking for blessed relics sent as gifts to his beloved family. Heirlooms they buried with them in this tomb. Can we get to the exploring now, please? Ooh, this might be Veloth's long sought after right pauldron. Ooh, remarkable hanging. Early Second Era, perhaps? Ah! The main chamber must be down these stairs! Now this is a burial chamber! We just need to find the entrance to the hidden passages! According to the old scroll, there's a secret entrance that leads to the hidden passages somewhere in this chamber. I don't see any obvious lever or switch. That's too bad. 
Examine anything that looks unusual. That harp, for instance. That's an odd accoutrement for a burial chamber. I also spot an old tome strategically placed for our reference. Interesting. I need to supervise. You are my apprentice, after all. Now get down there and find the hidden passage. Ah, uh, only the richest, most well-to-do families could afford to hide their true resting places so that no one could disturb or defile them. Imagine. Historical research isn't defilement. It's enriching the knowledge of future generations. My calling is noble and above reproach. It says so in my very first book. Now go find that entrance. I doubt there's anything related to St. Veloth in this chamber. Still, the inscription on that pedestal might reveal something. Uh, do give it a look. Perhaps that dusty old tome will suggest suitable offerings. Dust makes me sneeze, so you should take a look. The brazier ignited. That's a good sign. <laughs> You're a natural. Although I suppose my mentoring has honed your talent. to see the ancestors aren't materializing. I find go- Oh, well done. Perhaps I should charge for my tutelage. <laughs> we did it! On to the Undertomb, Apprentice! No dawdling, Apprentice. There's treasure nearby. I can practically smell it. Isn't it exciting? We're the first living creatures to set foot down here in more than a hundred years! This will definitely get an entire chapter in my next book! And that surprises you. Haven't you read my books? This is very similar to that time I unearthed the secret chambers of the Master Thief of Elsewhere. A pity my apprentice on that excursion refused to heed my advice. Walked right into a nasty trap. We search. You lead the way, while I watch for the telltale signs of a valuable item of historic significance. Hopefully even a relic of St. Veloth himself. Ooh, this is the part where our adventure gets really exciting. Oh, that's a skill I developed. Finally honed in the heat of battle, both metaphorical and physical. So lead on, my erstwhile apprentice, and do watch for any guardians or traps that might be waiting in hiding. Going first? That's an honor I wouldn't dream of denying you. And I'll be right behind you, offering advice and watching for opportunities to teach valuable lessons. You won't get this kind of an education at any university or academy. 
Uh, something along those lines. But he was too eager, running ahead before I could offer him the advantage of my experience. You don't seem to have that quirk. In fact, quite the opposite. It seems like you want to stand here and talk forever. Hmm. Nothing important in there. An ornate coffer. I'll take a look while you deal with any other issues that may arise. Keep your eyes peeled for traps, apprentice. Mm, pity that old scroll didn't include some sort of map. You keep bringing up that strange Nord woman. I believe she said she found the scroll at a shop in Sadrith Mora. Once she noticed the ancient elven, she brought it to me straight away. What? No, of course not. She'll get a thank you in the fine print. But I translated the scroll. I braved the dangers of the tomb. I did all the hard work. With some help from you, which I will gladly acknowledge when I write this thrilling tale. I'm sure you can handle this. Well, that's not something you see every day. Great opportunity for you to impress me, though. I believe I see the treasure vault on the other side of this chamber. Away, foul creatures! The bracelet of Indrel Veloth, I'm sure of it! Spaces and their tempting gaps. I hate to be a bother, but could you get me out of here, please? So good of you to notice. I'm quite proud of my ability to turn any situation into a dramatic scene for my next book. Anyway, I believe you'll find another series of wall plates to push in the chamber to my right. That's a rather ungrateful attitude, after I graciously agreed to take you under my wing. If you don't let me out, however, we won't be able to use the key I found in here. I'm quite certain it opens the way into the next section of the tomb. Almost certainly. The scroll clearly described a final treasure vault, and we haven't come across anything like that yet. So, do a Dark Elf a favor and go push a wall plate. It's the second one from the left. Or is it the bright? Ow! Something just shocked me! I found a jeweled glove and a sturdy key. Let's see if it opens the way into the next section of the tomb. Ah, sweet freedom! Onward! I, 
You deal with this. I wouldn't want to deny you a chance to demonstrate your impressive combat prowess. Hmm? Ah, so many spirits. Why they prefer tombs like this is beyond me. set in the floor. <laughs> I've seen this before. Panels on the walls. Do you see any differences? I suppose the order is important, but a few of the panels have fallen into disrepair. Think of the stone tiles set into the floor as a giant locking mechanism. We just need to determine the proper combination to open the way forward. Of course, there's probably some kind of conundrum built in. Of course! But no two puzzles are ever exactly the same. The scroll described a proper path to ancient honors. Or was it to honor the ancients? No matter. Close enough. We just need to determine the correct order in which to walk the stone tiles. That's where the conundrum comes in. Check the panels on the wall and see if they provide any insight. I'll supervise and run through the huge catalog of adventure obstacles and how to counteract them. I memorized it for just such situations. That's it. Just step in the proper order and the way will be opened.
flash of gold? Passing from St. Veloth for sure. Come to Narcissus, you beautiful golden head, you. And look, another passage opens. That will lead to the treasure vault most assuredly. I'm just guessing, mind you, but I dare say that skull belonged to a son or grandson of St. Veloth. What a spectacular discovery! Nonsense! Did you see it? Emeralds for eyes, covered in gold! It's better than anything in my collection. Don't let odd sounds disturb you. I learned long ago to just hum the tune to the Red Mountain drinking song and keep moving forward. There are no people like us. We solved the puzzle and uncovered the secret. You did all the work, of course, but I had it figured out the moment we entered the chamber. I was ready to help if you needed it. Now, let's see what's waiting inside. To the ancient crypt! My next book is going to be a trilogy for sure! Well, this isn't at all what I expected. This place is ancient. These must be one of earliest ancestors. I'll perform a thorough historical examination while you deal with any inconveniences that happen our way. I expected your technique to be a little more graceful than that! Look at these! Preserved bodies, not cremated ashes. A technique that predates the earliest Dark Elves. Oh dear, I don't like the look of this. I'm sure you can manage. Ancient stairs! Those often lead to ancient treasures! Mm, this is disappointing. Where's all the treasure? Nothing but some broken crates and an old well. Narcissus Dren never fails like this! I blame you, Apprentice! My translation was nearly perfect, so how could this be? Where are the relics? The treasure? There's nothing here but some busted old crates and a decrepit old well. No, that's impossible. Ancient scrolls lead to discovery and treasure, not disappointment. I blame you, Apprentice. You obviously don't have the attitude and temperament necessary to make great discoveries. You've ruined my expedition! Isn't that a noble sentiment? But noble sentiments don't pay the bills or sell my books. You wouldn't understand. You have no sense of what it takes to do what Narcissus Dren does. You're nothing more than an apprentice. Of course! Narcissus Dren and the Well of Gold! One of my earliest adventures. Why didn't I think of that? I take back everything I said. You are a good apprentice. Now, let's see what they hid away in that old well. Ah, 
I think you're right, apprentice. There's no water down there, and I definitely see a gleam of gold. I assume that was a mistake on your part. I reiterate my earlier observation. You're a terrible apprentice. Hello? Is anyone there? A little help, please? Free. Now is not the time to take a break. Narcissus will be out. It's good to see you again. Finished exploring the tomb. But where's Narcissus? I do miss that dark elf terribly, you know. That sounds like my Narcissus. Always wanting to explore just one more nook and cranny. I assume he'll be along shortly for one of my shoulder rubs. Allow me to pay you for your service. It is the standard rate for Narcissus' apprentices.